So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So all my members get to vote for one limit break expansion I do every month. And this month they voted for me to limit break expand my 6 plus V1 law. And I oblige, probably not the best investment I've ever made, but we'll probably see some use. Uh, not for the captain though. Five times attack to slash a free spirit. Up to 5.25 times. If you three perfects and a bit of healing so... Yeah, this is like an emergency captain, like you only have rare recruits on a team and you need a captain. That's basically it, I'd say. Uh, special is what you'd use law for and seven turns is like the main benefit of the Limbric expansion, which is <laughs> pretty crazy. Like you can use him to reduce CD and then maybe use him again final stage. I'll show that once in this video. But yeah, the main benefit, of course, is that you allow damage dealing special to go through defensive effects like barriers, damage reduction, even damage notification. I'll show that in the video too. And the cool thing they added with le 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 level limit break though, is that law also applies increased damage taken, which is neat since if you pair law with a unit like we 2 Doffy, which will be the most common case, any do damage that Doffy does is increased by 1.5 times due to increased damage taken. Uh, this is basically how Bandai decide the new Doflamingo and Sugar Legend. So, yeah, uh, I managed to make two fun teams using this V1 Law as captains. Let's get into it. And yeah, we're not going to kill bosses normally with this. We're going to use V2 Doffy, of course. First, we have Arena X Drake. And yeah, this is actually going to be a no stall speedrun, I think, so pretty neat. Uh, for this team, we're saving law for final stage, and that might seem uh, not super important. It's like, uh, who cares? Like, there's no normal attacks only. Final stage has no defensive effects. What do we need law for? But, well, two things. First, of course, we had that increased damage taken. So we can do more damage with V2 Doffy, but I'm just showing a, a scenario here where the enemy has damage notification, which we can get if we add a chain lock, which Garp does. So we use Garp first to remove special bind, enemy put up damage notification, lock can let us ignore that, and then Doffy kills. That's basically the game plan. But yeah, first we need to build up some damage, which we'll do in which we will do against page one here. We'll do the classic Roger and Odin combo. It's actually what this arena was designed for back in the day. Uh, one of the first arenas we got and we got it for the new year batch with Roger and Odin, the OG Super Sugos. So yeah, with Doffy, he's going to multiply any damage you do past the death of the enemy by 2.5 times I think it is, so it's quite substantial. So the strat when using Doff is to just overkill the enemy. So as you see here, when we use Scarp, he will remove the special bind, so Doffy can use his special. But sadly, x doesn't like when you do any chain specials. So he will do his interrupt, which is damage nullification, which is like GG, can't do damage anymore, redo the run. But yeah, of course, we one law ignores all defensive effects for damaging specials. A pretty funny <laughs> special actually, like... I feel like this is a pretty niche moment personally, maybe it isn't, but... Yeah, and then we set up for Doffy and Doffy can do his thing. It's funny that Doffy is still so relevant in 2024 when back in the day when he debuted he was so overpowered that they basically had to nerf every content with Driven. <laughs> but yeah, uh, one more team and this time we're going to do a hybrid with We One Law and Kid Law. That works well for Arena Mihawk since this content has normal attacks only. And of course, that's a weak quest, weakness with We One Law that 
it can't help you with normal tax only. In that way, Kid Law is a better version than V1 Law, since they ignore normal tax only and also do a hefty bit of damage themselves. The main issue with Kid Law is that you need to get them into duo form. And in this team, V1 Law actually helps to speed that up. So we basically only stall one turn with this team, which is quite impressive for a team using Kid Law Captain. They are notoriously slow. And yeah, this is actually one of those teams that it works pretty beautifully. It works out perfectly with CD and swaps and everything. Also one of the few times I've used a brand new, so that's pretty cool. It helps also speed up the super swap. And even if I didn't have the Beppo on Kid Law to speed up the CD even more, uh, I could have used brand new again later to <laughs> get the super swap that ready, so pretty cool. But yeah, I love this stage 4, it's so good. I use Kisaro first. Uh, I will get the attack and call affinity I need for damage. Also the bonus support, so we can get an um, increased damage taken conditional, since Law does increase damage taken. That bonus support piece is so much use, it's so good. Also a chain lock, because why not, then Law. Now we can ignore the barrier on Doffy, as, as well as getting that increased damage taken. But this also makes Luffy ready, so now we can use Luffy special. And Luffy removes all of the debuffs and also uh, gives us an ore boost. So yeah, suddenly we have attack boost, ore boost, call of infinity, infinity, chain lock, and a conditional on a stage 4. It's pretty crazy. I just get the max lock captain ability and yeah, you see that's some incredible damage. So yeah, Doffy is going to easily kill and you see that Kid Law is ready. So we just need to super swap, use Doffy, we also have Miyok support to ignore the death down. I presume it was required, I didn't feel like testing. But yeah, now we ignore defensive effects and normal attacks only, so really strong, and Doffy gets the kill. So yeah, that's the end of this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Going to do a plug after this, but for those not interested, I'll say thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. But yeah, as said, uh, this video was made possible by you guys being members to me. You just pay a bit every month, and you get tier list videos twice a month, and you get to vote for what unit I limit break expand next. If that's something that interests you, Please consider it, it does help out a lot.